welcome to your workout. Um, for this, you are going to need uh, two pairs of weights, your three Ks and your two Ks, and you need to set up your Tabata Pro um, app, um, and you're going to need a mat for, our, for the final part of the workout as well. So we're going to start by doing a little bit of a warm up, which will just take you through your initial exercises. So get your Tabata Pro going, and you're going to start your first 30 seconds in three, two, one, here we go. So with your hands on your shoulders, you're just going to take a squat and a hold, extend, curl, stand. All of your warm up is going to be done just weight free. So these are the moves that you're going to do in your session, but we're just doing them weight free, we're just getting the um, sort of body into the zone. Like we're just taking through exactly the same movements that you'll do once you get going with the weighted version. So hold, extend, curl and stand. So that's your first 30 seconds. So have a little breather. You've got 30 seconds in between each exercise. We're going to keep that 30 second work and rest interval going all the way through. So once you've done a few moves to your warm up, uh, we'll do some mobilising and then we'll add in some weights and go around again with the weighted version. So your 30 seconds rest is nearly done and we are done in three, two, one. Get ready for your lunges. You're going to stride out, lift the arms wide, stride back, feet together. Striding with alternate legs, lifting the arms, stride the foot back. So just keep them coming. Now with your lunge, I want you to think about raising the back heel and lowering the back knee, raising the arms on each stride. Have a go of getting your breathing going, use an out breath on the return phase, striding out, breathe out, stride out, breathe out. So make sure you're even on the legs and your interval is done there. Our next one is going to be a wide footed uh, position here, feet wider than hip width, checking on your feet to make sure they're going straight forward and back, they're in parallel. Uh, just have a look at them because often uh, they go a little bit out of parallel even though they feel like they're going straight forwards and back. You're going to take your right elbow, rest it on your right knee. We're going to do some pull-in moves. So you're going to think of drawing the hand to the hip pockets. Here we go. Pull in, extend, pull in, extend. So just start to use the upper back muscles to do this. And it's the upper back muscles that are powering this move. So think of drawing the shoulder blade across the back to lift the elbow close to the side. Keep them coming here, you've got 10 seconds. And we are going for another three, two, one, standing tall here. So give the legs a little shake, give the shoulders a roll, and you can always just kind of take a breather during the course of those if you feel that um, you just need to kind of give yourself a quick rest before you carry on uh, into the set. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side, your feet are wider than hip width and your heels and toes are going straight forwards and back. Keep drawing the tummy muscles in all the time and throughout all of the workout breathe freely. So you're going to take your left elbow, rest it to the left knee and do those pulling moves with the right arm. So I think you're drawing the hand to the hip pocket, but that movement again is coming from the upper back. The chest is more or less kind of pointing towards the floor. Keep them coming and focus on where you're getting the power from here. Just waking up those muscles of the upper back with these unweighted moves. You are getting there through these. You've just got three, two, one, and then up and come to standing with your legs in your shape here. So um, that's your sort of first three exercises done. And um, we are going to just do a few mobilizers next. So I'm going to pause our Tabata, um, our Tabata app so that we're ready to go with the exercises in a moment. So, but first of all I want you to do some um, what we call mobilising moves, which are kind of dynamic stretching moves. So start with the arms above the head and draw the tummy muscles in, then take an arm swing and a reach. Arm swing and reach. Keep those coming for two more. Breathing out on your upward swing to activate the tummy muscles. This time, taking your feet a little wider, you're going to take that into a lean as you reach up. And breathe out, arm swing, breathe out, 
one more to do here, use your out breath. And then we are going to take those into um, parallel foot moves. So again, check your feet are below your hips and they are in parallel. Bend in the knees, making sure they go over the toes. Draw your elbows together to open through the upper back. Now draw the shoulder blades together to open across the chest. Alternate the leg that you're tapping back as you keep those moves coming. And this time see if you can go with an offset arm. One higher than the shoulder, one lower. And reverse your offset here. Your next move is going to be a little lunge warm up move again. So you're going to stride, your right foot strides forwards. Take that lunge move, keep the feet in position as you rotate the left shoulder forwards, twisting through the waist, then straighten up. Left shoulder comes forwards to rotate and straighten, and you've got a third one here. Now on an out breath, drive the foot back to start point and stride with the left leg. Into position with a nice high back heel, rotate through the waist and straighten up. Rotate and straighten, and again, rotate and straighten, driving the foot back at this point. Our next mobiliser is just a stride, you swing the arms overhead and you draw the tailbone underneath you, breathing out on each return phase. Tuck the tailbone, breathe out. And again, breathing out, let's do one more here. And then keeping that arm swing move going, it turns into a side to side stride, so reaching up with the arm swing, breathing out on the return, reach up, Breathe out, once more to each side. Really use your out breath here on the return. Excellent, you're done with your warm up and you're mobilized. So you might feel warm enough to take off a leg out, you never know. So our next, uh, our next job is to get into the weighted versions of these exercises. So you are going to take a pair of three Ks and these are going to rest on your shoulders and we're going to have a go with that squat move using the biceps. So I'm going to get my timer going again here and we're going to do our first 30 second interval in three, two, one, so away you go. Hold the weights on the shoulders, squat for your hold, extend, curl and stand. Now really bring the body weight over the heels, hold it nice and steady with a neutral spine and stand tall as you bring the weights back to the shoulders. Hold, extend, curl, and stand. Keep those coming, nice and steady, nice and controlled. Standing tall, and again, squat, extend, curl, you're done. So have a breather here, give the legs a shake, give the shoulders a roll, and you're gonna trade this in for, um, Trade the weights in for something a little bit lighter here. These are 2K. If the weights ever feel too heavy, feel free to just trade them down. Take a slightly lower weight and uh, just kind of do the exercise with a weight that feels like it's workable for you. So don't feel you have to sort of, uh, you know, overwork anything. Here we go. Striding out with your turn at legs. Now think about this good quality lunge. You are raising the back heel and you're using a strong drive from that front foot to return to a start position. Step, breathe out. Strike now, keep the shoulders low as you take the arms just to shoulder height. Use your out breath. So again, if they're getting too heavy, then just feel free to use your single uh, weight with one, the 1K weights. Have a breather here, roll the shoulders. You're gonna take your weights back to your three Ks for the next one. So this is our wide footed position, your feet, your toes and heels going straight forward and back. So getting, getting into position here, getting ready to go into this next move, you've got 10 seconds of your breather. This is where you take your right elbow to your right knee. So you're going in three, two, one, hold in this position, pull the weight in, extend, pull in, extend, pull in. So keep drawing the weight in towards the body using the power of the upper back. Reach it though, pull it in. Don't lose the socket, the shoulder from it. It's socket, keep the shoulder blades together all the time. Don't let the weight pull the shoulder down towards the floor. Keep that retracted position. You've got one more to do here. And then we're going to stand tall. Give the uh, feet a little shake, the shoulders a roll. 
and trade um, hands with the weight. Now if you want to, you can use two weights here. It won't make a big difference between one and two weights, but if you want to, you can have um, hold the other weight in your free hand and rest it to the elbow, uh, rest the elbow to the knee. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's not going to make a huge difference, so the choice is yours there. We're going in three, two, one, here we go. Elbow to knee, pull in and lower. Pull in, lower. Keep them coming here. Drawing that elbow close to the side. Think of the hand coming up towards the hip. The upper back doing the work. You will also get a little bit of effect in the triceps here, which is why we've got this style of movement in. So it, this one will work both the upper back and the backs of the arms. Uh, so both on our target list, two, one, and bring the feet side by side. Okay, so you're going to have a little breather here, and if you want to, you can go through those exercises again. So stay with your standing um, exercises, stay with the weighted version, and go through those one more time, or even two more times, if you have the time. Otherwise, we're going to take our moves down onto the floor and we're going to start finding the tummy muscles and we're going to do um, a dead bug move. So for this one, you're going to need your mat. Or you don't really have to have a mat as long as you've got somewhere comfortable to lie down on the floor. And we are going to use um, a weight. So I would suggest that we we'll start with your 2K weight. Uh, so getting into position, you're going to have a lumbar spine, a curve on the spine here. Hold that neutral spine with your lumbar curve, which won't be the same as mine. Hold it static, and then on an out breath, lower leg towards the floor. Now, it doesn't matter how low your leg goes, breathing in to lift it back up. I want you to work to your level that challenges your abdominals. So breathing out, lower your leg to the point where you can't uh, lower it any further without curling in the back. It's really important that your lumbar curve stays strong. You don't uh, let the back rock up and down. Breathe out as you lower the leg. And if you're doing it at my pace, then you need to eat one more to even up the legs. Draw the knees into the chest in between sets just to release the back. Have a little roll from rock and roll from side to side just to see uh, that your back feels okay. You're just releasing it here. Hold and use your recovery, and then we're going to get back into position uh, once we hear the beeps. So the weight go, will go back above the chest, and the legs come up above the hips. Here we go again, using your out breath, lowering the leg towards the floor. As you kind of become more and more confident with these, you can take the leg a little bit lower. But don't do that until your back is ready for it and your tummy is ready for it. The most important thing with the core exercises is your technique. So keep those coming, breathing out to lower the leg, draw the tummy muscles in towards the spine on the out breath. We're doing one more just to even up legs. And then again, drawing the knees into the chest. So that's two sets of your dead bug. And if you want to, you can go into a third set. Now the way to kind of uh, sort of just extend a little bit more, say, is you can just put the weight down and maybe for the third set or your or the final set, um, just work with the outer weight. So that means the hands will just be above the chest. So you just have the hands above the chest and the feet up in the air and do it exactly as you would have done, but without holding the weight. And that just makes it a tiny bit uh, less tricky and, um, you know, you can do your um, sort of final set uh, whilst keeping your technique strong and still working with tummy muscles. So those are your key exercises and uh, you can sort of fit those into your half an hour and um, after you've done them, do a few stretches. So I'll just take you through a few stretches now. So we'll go through the ones that we did the other day on, on our Zoom call. We're going to start with a hamstring stretch. Relax the back and allow the neck to relax and draw the leg towards the body. So you're relaxing um, everything except this muscle here, the hamstring, where you get a stretch through the hamstring. Now, if you've got time to hold the stretches, then please do. Otherwise, just work sort of into each of these key muscles. Hold nice and easy in the back, relax 
uh, through, the, through the neck. It's, your head is supported, there's no need to have any tension there. Holding your stretch while you feel the hamstring responding here. So hold it nice and easy while you get the stretch. And then popping the foot down towards the floor, we're going to come over onto your side. So just check in, you have your elbow below your shoulder here, and then the bony part of the arm takes your body weight and not the shoulder muscles. Ease the heel towards the bum and draw the knee back, extending the hip forwards. And that position of the knee versus the hip joint will give you your stretch down the front of your thigh. So hold it steady here while you get that stretch, just for a few seconds. If you can make it round about 15 seconds per stretch, that would be great. Anything beyond that is obviously a big bonus. Ease the knee forwards here and release the foot. Swing the legs to the other side. Now, if you're feeling a little bit tight after doing these, and especially you know if you're doing a sort of a number of sessions during your week, then expensive you can just find some time to do a little bit of stretching. So if you're sitting around, I know you don't do much sitting around. Um, maybe, but if you're watching TV one evening, then just kind of hop onto the floor and um, do these stretches just to uh, sort of give your muscles a little bit more time and a little bit more recovery. Ease the knee forwards here to release the stretch. Then we come to our all fours stretch, this is for your glutes. So here, kind of take both feet and take them over to the, your right side. You're lifting up your, your right leg. Take it up and over the left and ease into your stretch here. So you're sliding this leg away from you as the elbows support the upper body. You're folding the left knee beneath you and that sort of position should give you a nice stretch around the glute or at the very top of your thigh. Just hold it steady and breathe. Allow the glutes to uh, respond here, try not to tense against the stretch. And then coming up back to all fours, we'll take the feet, both, both feet the other way. So pop both feet over to your left side, lift up your left leg, it comes up and over. And this time it's your right folding beneath the body and you're holding in a stretch here. So let the breath flow while you're here and try to relax into the stretch and commit. Try and um, you know, feel the effect around the glutes as the muscle releases and the muscle fibers just lengthen nice and gently. So you'll need to do this one uh, to kind of make sure you don't have tightness around the hips uh, and it, it's quite a nice one for that. The next one is our inner thigh stretch, so you're going to take one leg out to the side, check in on the extended knee here to ensure it's slightly flexed, lower the bum towards the heel and just feel the stretch in the inner thigh. Holding for a few seconds while well, that does its stuff. Keep it here, nice and easy. You've done it, well done. Bring your knee back beneath you and let's extend the other leg out, lower the bum towards the heel again here and hold it steady. Just keep it in position, uh, making sure you've got a relaxed knee joint and making sure you're getting a stretch to your inner thigh here. So just keep it in position for a few seconds at least. And if you can do 15, you get gold stars. And then here you're going to bring your knee back beneath your body. And I'll just show you a one or two for the upper back and the calf. So this one is quite a handy stretch because we can combine both upper back and calf. So you're going to stride forwards. So now this time you're going to keep your back heel pressed against the floor. Have a look down at your feet and check that they are going straight forwards and back. And here I want you to hug a tree. So you're going to draw the shoulder blades apart as you rest the chin to the chest. Hold it steady. So this one is an antidote for our pulling in move, the one where you rested an elbow on a knee and drew the weight in towards your hip pocket. Release it gently here and stride your foot back, change the, uh, the legs over. Look at your feet just to ensure that they are both going straight forwards and back. That back heel in particular, I'm interested.